All right, so what we stopped at right here is a gator trail through the middle of a sawgrass marsh. So we're just north of the Paheoki Lookout Tower. You can see in the distance behind me there. Uh, and you'll notice that the sawgrass is kind of matted down pretty clearly. And we have the marl exposed right on the surface with some, some dried out periphyton on top. Alligators have a tendency to kind of bulldoze their way through when you get to a sawgrass marsh. They don't much care for anything that's in their way unless it's a tree and even if it's that, if it's something they can't knock down. So what you'll get is these nice trails that end up, we think, acting as highways for smaller animals. It's a currently untested hypothesis, but it's something that we've been curious to look into moving forward as to how these play a role in the movement of aquatic animals throughout the marsh. Because right now we're at the end of the dry season, so obviously we're not sitting in water, but we come back in another week, two weeks, maybe a month, and where my shoulder is now would be about the water level. So you can imagine that would be the path of least resistance for small fish, uh, crayfish, whatever it might be, as well as your odd alligator. <laughs>